Before we speak about where cities sprout up, we must understand what a city is. A city is not having large numbers of inhabitants living in close proximity with one another. A city is not having monumental buildings within a settlement. You can have both of those and not be a city, and you can have a city without either of them. A city is a central hub of culture, society, and economics within a region. A city acts as mediator between the people living within it and those living in the surrounding hinterlands, and those that pass through that region. A city acts as the collection and redistribution point of goods and resources of the region. A city is dependent on its hinterlands, and the hinterlands are dependent on the city to sustain their lifestyle. The settlements in the hinterlands will bring in basic resources to the city, as the city also gets resources and goods from trade. And then the city produces special goods that then are redistributed out to the settlements so that they keep up their lifestyle. Those goods are goods that could not easily be provided within those settlements, but the city can provide them. But the city cannot gather all the resources it needs to produce them. So cities sprout up where the resources necessary for that civilization are around and are easily accessible and exploitable by the populations provided at the time and its technology it has. As to why early cities sprout up around rivers in Mediterranean type climates like those in Mesopotamia or in Northern Africa with Nile, or those on China with the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers. At those points, you had an easy supply of water to provide for crops and for yourself. You had the river that would provide transportation in between cities and as a settlements and people to provide trade, and you had the plants needed to grow crops and large, wide open land to provide for pastoral peoples. So you could have the livestock you need. And that led to the sprouting of cities. Now, within a day's journey from the cities, a day's journey of carrying cargo, you would have small settlements start sprouting up all within that area to fill in that surrounding hinterlands of the city to provide the resources needed, whether that be farming, livestock, or other natural resources like copper, tin, or other metals, or stone. And so those would sprout up. And then, between different cities that are sprouted in regions, you would have other settlements out between them. Usually a day's journey, you know, depending on what type of transportation is used, between those settlements until you reach the other city to facilitate trade between them. And depending on the transportation that could be used, the distance would vary. Along a river, the distance could be quite amount further between those settlements, as you could travel much quicker along a river with much larger cargo. And instead of how you could travel across land, where you're probably traveling at the speed you can walk, and you can't carry as much cargo, so the settlements would be smaller and closer together. And now if a civilization relies upon something like a Pony Express, you would have even smaller settlements that sprout between those ones, between the cities, to provide quick travel and quick exchange of mounts to provide quick giving of messages. And all those are dependent on where cities are sprout up. And as civilizations get more and more complex and travel technology gets more and more complex and more and more efficient and quicker and you gain larger and larger population, new cities will sprout up. Those city settlements might become cities and the cities might shift where they are depending on what resources are needed. Also cities will sprout out where trade routes coincide. If multiple trade routes pass through the same area, a city will most likely sprout up there to facilitate that trade and to profit from it. And so all of these are places where cities might spread out, and these basic rules would determine where cities are likely to be, and they still determine that even down to this day. Like and subscribe.